Omni finally did it. Something that we've all been asking for a long time. They made a rechargeable light which runs on lithium batteries instead of lead acid. For the longest time they've been using these little lead acid batteries in their products. The problem with that is they do not last. Lead acid batteries have a short lifetime, especially in very high temperature countries like the Philippines. So thank you Omni, you nearly got it perfect. It's not quite perfect, but you nearly got it perfect. So first time I got this out of the box, I was like, mm, feels a little bit cheap because it's light, but honestly, it's really actually quite good. The plastic, it's a nice quality plastic. When you turn on the light, I don't know if you'll notice this, but watch. It has a kind of like fade, it fades in. It just makes it feel a little bit nicer. You have the high mode, you have the medium mode, you have the blinky blinky, and then it also has a flashlight on the end. And if you want to get into the flashy blink light, which a lot of people don't know how to do, I saw in the reviews people were complaining that they couldn't find this, you hold down the button. See, now it's in blinky blinky flashlight. USB type C chargeable, which is very good because the problem with micro USB is that over time, the connections have a habit of becoming useless. The cable keeps falling out, it gets broken. It's just not a good connector compared to type C. So thank you very much. And on that topic, let's talk about charging this. They do give you a type C cable. You can charge this from your cell phone charger, your laptop charger, you can plug it into a computer. On the packaging, they claim 5 volts 1 amp so you would think this is going to charge at 5 watts but actually it charges at around 1.6 watts which is really a little bit slow and that's why I say this is not quite perfect on the packaging it says it would take four to five hours to charge this and I can believe that because it's 1.6 watts I wish that they made it charge a little bit faster now the good side of charging is slowly is that the battery is going to last a really long time because you're not discharging at a very high rate you're not charging at a very high rate so the battery is under pretty much ideal circumstances but it's just going to take too long to charge that's the only downside the nice thing is that aside from supporting regular charge cables it will also work with a fast charge cable it will still be 1.6 watts, but at least it supports fast charge cables. There's a lot of flashlights out there which do not support fast charge cables. And that's why a lot of us actually carry around two different type C charge cables. So nearly perfect if it could just charge a little bit faster. As for the price, I think this was around 230 pesos. At first I was like, is that a good price or is that a little bit too high? And then I started looking around at competing products. I think it's a good price. Honestly, I think it's a good price, especially considering this is from Omni. That's a respected brand. So yeah, I'm actually, I'm okay with that price. I think it's very, very reasonable. Now, how long can this actually run for? Well, according to the packaging, the medium setting, which is this one, can run for up to four hours. And I've tested it, I get about four and a half hours. And in a dark room, this is really bright enough. So it's true, what they say is true. But now we get to the part of the video which I'm kind of looking forward to, but also I'm a little bit sad about. We have to break this to get inside. In fact, that's another slightly negative thing. I wish they made it removable battery cover. So you can put in your own 18650. Wouldn't that be cool? In fact, I'm only assuming it's an 18650. I don't know for sure. That's why we're actually gonna break into this thing and find out. Oh, saying that, I was able to unclip the LED diffuser at the top and I don't think I broke it, look. Ooh, we might be in luck here. We might be in luck. Look, a couple of screws. I was thinking that I would have to buy another one because this would get broken. And there you go. You can actually open the whole thing without breaking anything. That's the 18650. I will show you the markings. It is marked as a 1200 milliamp hour, which is what they're promising on the packaging. And actually something, oh no. I was getting excited because I noticed they used a common connector there and you can buy packs like this with the same connector on. But the problem is you can't access it anymore because the way the board has been soldered. 
So I think your only option would be to either desolder this or to desolder the wires directly from the battery. Anyway, I'm not going to do that because honestly it runs for so long that I don't need to modify it. But I mean bonus points if they could make the battery replaceable. Have some spring contacts, a slide off cover, replaceable 18650 and then it's a product that you're going to use for you know 10, 15, 20 years potentially. And there you go, it's back together. I really thought I was going to have to destroy this to get inside, but no, it's a very good construction. I'm happy. Honestly, I'm happy. It's a good product. I think it's worth the price. It does not get hot. I ran it for like four and a half hours on the medium setting. It didn't get hot. It didn't even feel warm. When I charge it, it doesn't get hot. It doesn't even feel warm. Maybe a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of warmth here, but you can barely notice it. I guess because it's really not charging that fast. Is it worth the money? Yeah, I think it is honestly. For a branded product from Omni, good quality plastic, nice diffuser, so many LEDs to spread the light and to spread the heat. I'm so glad that they've upgraded to lithium ion instead of continuing with those lead acid batteries. The lead acid batteries are heavy, they're not long lasting, and they're just old, 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 old lithium ion is where it's at so yeah it's a nice light you should consider this if you want a rechargeable light or you just want some kind of emergency light that you can leave on the side it's a decent product oh and if anyone's interested i will open this up again and i will try to capacity test the battery inside to verify if it's a legitimate 1200 milliamp hour and then i'll put the result uh either on the screen or in the comments section I think it's going to be legit because it ran for four and a half hours. So anyway, thanks for watching.